Hi, welcome to Painting Pat. We're back again this week. This week we're going to be delving into the mysteries of night. And for this you're going to need a fat house brush and the color blue and black to start. And I'm going to take a lot of water and add a bunch of blue onto the tip of the brush with it wet. And I'm going to start about center here and just get a lot of that blue onto the surface like this. You may want to go back for a bit of water. Maybe some more blue. <clears throat> now with this one, I've, I'm sort of planned it ahead of time, which I don't usually do. But what we're going to do is make it a moon scene, but with also with an outer space theme. So we just take a lot of blue. I'm going to have to be shy about using paint at this point, because it does take a lot to get the right color depth. And speed's not so much a part of it is getting the circles here straight. And you just want to make sure that the brush is always wet. I'm going to even go overboard here with the water. And just keep bringing it out, bringing it out. Like so. Doesn't look much right now, but it'll come into form in a moment. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this blue and I'm just going to drag it all the way out. All the way out. Just like this. Mm, roughly a round shape. Nothing's truly circular anyway, so... And just give it a once over, get some neat line effects going here. And try and get all these little spots out. And I'm just going to get more water, water, water. And bring it up on the sides. Top. Make sure you're getting all these little blemishes worked out. And it's not an exact science, it gives it a little more character. And I'm going to go to the black. And we're going to take a good portion of black here. <coughs> I'm going to rub it into the blue that's watered down already. And I'm going to start on these outside corners like this. Just want to make sure you get the black right down. Right up into the corners here. Just like this. Just work it if you got to work it. A little more water. And we'll start at the bottom. This part's sort of really, you're really liberal with the paint and the water. And then we're just going to go and <clears throat> work it back into itself while the paint's still wet here, just like this. Make sure you get the bottoms there, it's sort of crucial. And you get all these little blemishes you up to the top there. Okay. I'm going to rinse off that brush a bit. Just get most of the paint off and I'm going to squeeze it out and dry your hands off. And I'm just going to come back over it here. And just working it in. good enough. And I'm going to take my one inch brush in the color blue and I'm going to use a heck of a lot of water here and I'm just going to make a big flat puddle of the color blue here. And for this next part you're going to need some crumpled up newspaper. <coughs> this is what I use to uh, create the illusion of uh, space clouds. And again, it's really heavy with the water here. I'm going to take a crumpled up paper. And we're just going to use it like a stamp here. We'll start in the center. And just work your way out. <coughs> you can even <coughs> dab the water with the paper to catch a lot of water here. And this is where you start to blend it in a bit. 
And you'll notice a little back and forth like this. And you actually blend the black and the blue. And it just becomes more cloudish as you do it. And I'm just going to come up to the black and I'm going to pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. If you get little paper splotches, don't worry about it. It's all part of the art form. Right. <clears throat> and I'm going to go, let's see, I'll use a two inch brush and I'm just going to go back to my blue with some water on it and just a little smidge of white. Just a smidge. You want it to be visible enough though that you can see it. More white. More water. You want to make clouds with this, like gas clouds in space, so it really has to be watery. The more water, the more cloud it looks. Okay, and then we're gonna not quite enough there. Yeah, that should do it. And we're going to get a fresh paper here. Oh, a little more white. A little more white. There we go. You want a, a baby blue color at this point. And I'm really going to pack this in. And I just grab some white and start in the center. And keep pulling it out like this. Try not to overlap too much. And you start to get this weird stuff happening here. More white. And it's not quite enough, so go back. A little more white. And some blue, just a hint of blue. Mix it all together. Add some water. And start in the middle again. And just keep working it up, working it up. And then we're going to find our old grass brush. <coughs> and we're going to add a almost pure white, but with a hint of blue in it. And this part you want to be sort of thick so that it flicks off the brush in dots, but not so thin that it runs down the board. So, there we go, Get a little excess off here, and we're just going to come into the center here and start make it look like space, oh, not quite enough water. Also the more water you get, the more blotches are bigger, and we're just going to give it a little flick in all directions here. Okay, just like this. And bring it right to the outside so you get little stars in space. And maybe even you get, and you can take the side of your brush like this and say you want a little more details, perhaps some sort of galactic cloud. And you just touch the white and bring it out and around, out and around. Out and around. And then you just loosen it up as you come out here. Okay. 